In this video, we will explore how to link TWG files in the right way and what we can use. Can we use Revit origin, internal origin? Can we use the project base point or survey point? What can be used and how to link and export TWGs in the right way so we can work and collaborate efficiently. Let's jump into it. In order to export, so this is the arc model. So I will use interior model that I used in the previous examples that for the linking of Revit models. So I will use the interior model, but in this case, if you didn't watch that video, you can just refer to that to um, Revit linking. But in this case, what I will do is I will just try exporting this as a cat. So let's just go ahead, file. Let's go to export and just do TWG. Before exporting it, I would like to actually go into modify export settings. And from here, I want to go units and coordinates. There are two options. So I have shared coordinates and I have internal origin. Very important to understand. So I don't have project base point or survey point as a reference. So it's literally exporting from the origin from the 000 location. So if I just click OK and export this model, do you want to learn more and access the world of knowledge about BIM and Revit? Then just navigate to our website, hub.integratedbim.com. We have exclusive topics for you for free. But if you want to take it to the next level and you want to really sign up to our BIM consulting services, this is where you can get the best practices, solve your individual issues right away by submitting requests to us, centralize your workflows, educate your team, and most importantly, keep the knowledge within the team, within the company, and then have someone available for you whenever you need on demand. Join us today and this way you can explore and grow your business. This is the right way to scale and export this model. And I'm just going to just say arc model for plan level one. And I will close this and I will open the interior model to that I was using as an example in the Revit linking project. Now my origin is here and it was used the same origin to origin linking to place all these components. So if I just go to insert link cat and then from here I can easily pull this and make sure that I use origin to origin. If I use center to center or another method, it might not align. So I will just go open and you can see that it comes to some the same location because it's exporting from the particular point from the origin so it's exact the same location because even in AutoCAD, it uses this uh, green and red intersection, which is Y axis and X axis intersection, which is the 0, 0, 0 location. It is the same location in AutoCAD. If I just open AutoCAD and navigate to AutoCAD, we can see that our origin is located here. And it might be hard to see this at this point um, where the origin is, but if I just rewrite zero and zero, if I just write enter, I can just see that I'm starting to draw from there. So it takes that as an origin. And this way you make sure that all your projects are aligning by exporting from origin and linking from origin to origin. If you like this video and more videos like this, subscribe to our channel because there will be many more. And don't forget to turn your notification bell on.